Hey girl, have you ever worried about something so much that it literally takes over your entire day? You can't stop thinking about it. You, it's hard for you to focus on different tasks. Um, you are just having a hard time. Like you're having a hard time. Maybe you can't sleep at night. Uh, maybe you have headaches thinking about this for so long. Um, maybe you even have, you know, you experience like tightness in your chest. Um, you might even ask yourself all these questions and they all start off with what if? What if this happens? What if they do this? What if they say this? I'm talking about anxiety and anxiety is no joke. Um, anxiety is the best way for me to explain it is a constant and intense worry and fear um, about your everyday situations. That's what anxiety is. It's a constant and intense worry about your everyday situations. Anxiety is literally letting tomorrow's problems ruin your today. That's, that's exactly what it is. It takes over. It takes over your mind to the point where you're allowing tomorrow's problems to ruin your today. And chances are you or someone you know struggles with anxiety. Um, I just wanna talk to you today and share um, four things, just four things that um, I've noticed that has helped me when I feel anxiety coming on. Uh, again, anxiety is no joke. And so four things that I just want to share with you um, to help you out, you know, for when you feel anxiety coming on. The first thing that I've learned to do is surrender. Now, surrender is really saying, I'm going to take my hands off the wheel and let go of the control. That's what surrender is. I'm giving it to God. Like I'm laying it at his feet. Okay. Um, oftentimes we want to, uh, oftentimes we want to control the outcome or the results of our situation. We want to, um, we want to control the timing of a situation or the outcome and it just doesn't always work that way so we have to give control to god we have to surrender it to god i remember um when god first led me to leave my job and for the first few weeks it felt like vacation um but i remember maybe like maybe four weeks a month later what I woke up one morning and what felt like I was in vacation now I began panicking because I realized oh my god I need a job like what am I gonna do <laughs> like what did what did I do I just left this job and I still have to take care of me and my son so what am I gonna do and I started panicking I started thinking what if this happens what if that happens uh what what if I can't get back on? What if I can't find another job? All these questions starting with what if. And that was something that um, I had to lay at God's feet. I had to give that control back to him. So I had given him control. He led me to leave the job. And then by me panicking, I was trying to take control over the steering wheel again. And that was the wrong thing for me to do. So I gave God, you know, I surrendered, um, surrendered to him. And to be honest, there were times where I even went looking for jobs. <laughs> I went looking for jobs and clearly he was shutting it down every single time. So when I, when I saw that taking place, I realized, okay, God, I give it to you. And however you're going to play this whole thing out, I trust you. I'm scared, but I trust you. All right. So the first thing is surrender, letting go of the steering wheel and giving God control. 
Number two is leaning into God. Okay. Um, most of the time when we feel anxiety coming on, we feel this constant worry. We want to, it's easy for us to crawl into our shell um, and just kind of soak in our shell on the different things that are taking place that we really have no control over. And that is the opposite of what we need to do. In fact, when we're leaning into God, this is a time where we need to lean into God. We need to pray more. We need to um, talk to God more. We need to get into our word more. Lean into him more. We need to put on worship music and pray more. Worship, our praise and our prayer is our weapon. It's our weapon. So this is the time to lean into God more rather than crawling into our shell, which will be the easy thing to do. Okay. Um, Isaiah 55, it talks about Isaiah 55, uh, chapter is it Isaiah 55, one of those scriptures, but Isaiah 55, um, verses eight, I believe it talks about, um, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. My ways are higher than your ways, right? So, um, but I'm paraphrasing. Go ahead and look it up. Isaiah 55 verse 8, I believe. And so, um, but we don't always understand what God is doing. But we can trust and believe that he's doing what is in our best interest, right? So that's number two, lean into him, lean into God. Number three is protect your thoughts. What I mean by protecting your thoughts, I'm talking about protecting your eye gates and your ear gates, right? Um, it's your appetite, your appetite. Um, appetite is not just what you physically eat, it's what you are taking in emotionally, spiritually, mentally. All of these things can play a role in uh, in what your what takes the uh, in it can all play into the thoughts that take room in your mind. Okay, so uh, whether it be the environments that you present yourself in, um, it can be the movies that you watch, it can be the music that you listen to, it could be the content that you watch or listen to. All of these things play a role in what takes up space in your mind. So protect your thoughts. All right. Um, again, that goes back into getting into the word because you want to get to a place where, you know, maybe a negative thought tries to seek in and you you can come you know you can combat it with the word of god what does the word say about this right listen all the enemy needs is a small crack to just come in slide in and wreak havoc in your mind and you don't want that you want you want to have uh scriptures you want to have uh praise in your you know praise in your arsenal right you want to be able to pull something out your bag and combat what the enemy is trying to make you believe okay um and trying to make you worry about so that's number three protect your thoughts and the fourth thing last but not least is put your trust in god put your trust in god you cannot change your situation by worrying but you can change your situation by praying your place of power is in prayer. Something that I wanted to do from the beginning of this year, I told myself that I wanted to increase my time in prayer. And there are a lot of times where I don't know what all to say in prayer. And so I started asking God to give me the spirit of prayer. I started asking God to give me the spirit of prayer, right? Um, and so Something happened when I started reading the Bible more. Um, my prayer, I'm actually praying the word. So it's not just me praying. Yes, God hears our prayers, right? But let's get into a habit of praying the word. Let's get into the habit of praying the word more. Um, but your place of power is in prayer. Trust God. Pray more. Once you bring it to God, yeah. 
I I know a lot of people say, you know, give it to God and um, you pray once and that's it. But I'm going to be like the persistent widow and I'm going to keep praying to God. I'm not giving up. Okay, uh, so put your trust in God and um, just remember, you know, Jeremiah 29, 11 is one of my favorite scriptures, but he says, God is telling us, he says, for I know the plans I have for you. It's plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. So just know that God is for you. You can combat this anxiety, but it also starts with you. So that's all I have for you today. Be encouraged and I will see you in the next video. Bye.